Hey everyone. Uh, this is an update of the Lego mower. Um, I figured I'd do this in a little flex. I built a little track for it. If, you, if I didn't upload the other video, I can't remember if I did or not. Um, I put bigger back wheels on it, and I put the back wheels that were on it on the front. So, I mean, they were already big, but now it looks more like a lawn tractor. Um, storage space, I put the steering wheel on, if that wasn't in the back video, last video. Um, seat, I, uh, I had to thin out the front. Should be in something like... Um, well, let's just go with something. There we go. There it is. That's the piece that was on there. So it was that wide, sitting at that level. About there. Try to get it even with the camera. But, um... Yeah, it's sitting right about there, so you could tell that the wheels would hit it. So now, I can go up to about this height of a normal lawnmower. I had to put stops in, because so, it would go up so high that it would hit the engine, or the engine. Um, but yeah, let's do a little flex real quick. Um, those of you who are watching for my biking or... Well, let's talk a little bit about the... Uh, before I show you this track that I built. The uh, off-road Montgomery. It is currently like... I lost, I need to get a carburetor rebuild kit. I managed to take it apart and lose one of, like, those little tiny springs that are, like, little tiny. That is a little tiny spring. Um, I don't know how much more general that I can get than that. Um, actually, if I can find this other one that's from a, here we go. No, that won't work. Wrong one. Um, I cannot seem to find it right now. Where did it go? Um, well, who cares? You, I don't think you guys really care about seeing a spring. That, but, um, yeah, so I managed to lose that. But let's do a little flex from here. So let me clear up a little bit more space. I had to do this on a hardback book so I could transport it easily. And I had to make it a big hardback book because the uh, tractor's so big. So here it is. Just made it out of mile and clay. Just a quick little thing so I can this out like right there and this thing literally just like I'm just pushing with my pinky finger it just glides right over that stuff until I hit a hard spot like that bad angling that uh not good enough ramp here too but uh excuse me while I mold these out a little more better but uh I made it so this th these two right here Sorry. I made it so those two, two middle ones, when I put the front wheel on that one and the back wheel on that one, it completely maxes out the front suspension. I mean, that cannot go anywhere without picking up the tractor. So, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. So, yeah, um, those of you who have watched the um, I've watched the Murray Gator thing. I had to take it apart a little bit. I can see if I can't put it back together with one hand here. 
it wasn't bad. I had to take one the red seed off of it, but I just stuck another yellow seed on it. Um, so, yeah, I took those pieces off. I made uh, sides for the hood, but then I decided not to use them. And I managed to forget the blade deck downstairs again. Um, I really wanted to do a video on that. I don't even know if I can still fit it on there. I made it to fit the other, with the other way the wheels were. Okay, here we go. So here is a comparison in size. This thing is almost as good. I haven't tried this on an off-road track yet. It has no suspension, so I mean, it's just like, I mean, I used to think this was my coolest build yet. Until I built that. So, the only reason I used clear pieces here was because, well, that was the only pieces I had. Um, I don't know if I did this in the last update, but I uh, took those from the four, one by four, um, like that, basically. One by four. So that was, it was like on there, but down there, you know what I mean. So I changed that to, I put four corner, four corners on it, but I didn't have any regular pieces. I'm looking through the camera here, so. Um, but yeah, I didn't have any regular pieces for that. So, just didn't use them. Um, one question. Do you guys think that I should put this... Ah. I should put the gear shift up there. Like instead of being down on the fender, which is very realistic, I put it up. I put it up on the dashboard. Um. Yeah. So, give me some feedback on that. Um, I don't have many subscribers yet. Anybody who's doing videos, um, I don't want to ask for too much, but if you could give me some shout-outs, that'd be fabulous. Um, yeah. Just to help me out a little bit. But it is only like the third week of my channel, so I'm not expecting too much, but, uh, yeah, those of you who have a YouTube account know what I mean, but, yeah, um, so look, Mud King looks like. I think it looks a lot like this. Yeah, but uh, I don't think I did this before, but. Anybody who's heard about a uh, T-Man? Sorry, man. Um, sorry to hear about what happened. Anybody who hasn't heard about that, check out his channel, T-Man's Go-Karts. Um, but yeah. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, give me some feedback on that gear shift. Um, thanks for watching.